What is going on, friends? Welcome in to Sports from the Couch here on Mercado Airwaves. I'm your host, Mike Mercado, and you are joining me for a very special edition of Sports from the Couch. We're going to be doing this live on YouTube. You can catch these videos. I'm in so many fantasy leagues, so many money leagues, so many different things during the football seasons, and this is another one that I do. This is a confidence league on CBS, and what we do here is you get points, and you got to pick winners. So we're going to do that here, and we're going to kind of discuss some of the games as we go along, and you could just kind of follow along throughout the season how we do. And we'll start off, we'll go by picks, and then we'll go by order of how we want to do things, and we'll save this Thursday night for last. So we'll start from the bottom up from the Monday night games. Oakland and Denver, this is Denver going into Oakland. Oakland, maybe the youngest team in the NFL, they're going to be bad. Thinking, oh, I, I don't see a lot of good things about this this team. I think Denver is not going to be a very good team, but I think they're going to be better than Oakland, so I'm going to go Denver here. Houston at New Orleans. Houston making a bunch of moves, trying to get some help for Deshaun Watson, but I think New Orleans is the better team. I think New Orleans has legit Super Bowl aspirations, so I'm going to go with New Orleans in Week 1. Pittsburgh at New England. This is a tough game simply because we don't know what New England is going to do to start the season. The only thing we do know for sure is we can't guess what they're going to do because Bill Belichick won't let us do that. So I think New England is probably the more popular choice. But to kind of skew things a different way, I might want to go Pittsburgh here. We'll come back to this one. The reason why I'm leaning towards Pittsburgh, it's simply because even without Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell, I think they're going to find ways to try to get some guys out there. I think Juju Smith is still a superstar. I think Dante Moncrief is going to be interesting there. I think James Conner is a good player. So we'll wait along in a second for that. San Francisco at Tampa Bay. Again, Tampa Bay is going to put points up. I don't like San Francisco. I, Jimmy Garoppolo, again, I thought he was going to be a superstar in this league. But right now, just simply from what I've seen, coming off of that injury from his knee and kind of not looking that good during the preseason, I think here I'm going to go with Tampa Bay at home to start the season. The Giants going to Dallas. Zeke got paid, got his guaranteed money in the last second, which sucks because I play him week one in fantasy football. We'll go Dallas with a win at home. Detroit. Takes on Arizona at the desert. Detroit's going to have games where they're going to put up a bunch of points, but they're going to be very inconsistent. That defense, I don't know how much better that defense is going to get. Matt Patricia coming from that Belichick tree. The Belichick tree hasn't been all that great. So David Johnson coming back. I'll go Arizona at home. Simply, I think these two teams are very similar, but I'll go with the home team on this one. The Colts going to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. The Chargers will not have Melvin Gordon, it seems like. Indianapolis, here, here's the thing about the Colts, right? Even without Andrew Luck, they're built to win now. So Jacoby Brissett is halfway competent, and he's, he's going to have a better season than he did two years ago when Andrew Luck was out because that team was garbage. So... This is an interesting one. I'm going to go with the Chargers simply because they're at home. But Indianapolis is not going to be a bad team to bet on throughout the season on and off. Cincinnati going to Seattle. I'm going to go Seattle on this one. Jadavon Clowney should be playing. And again, it's tough to win in Seattle. The Rams taking on the Panthers. They're going to Carolina. The Rams coming off of losing in the Super Bowl. Somebody's going to have to take a step back. This Rams team might be it. A lot of people are losing confidence in Todd Gurley. Jared Goff just got paid all the money in the world, which makes Patrick Mahomes so happy because he's definitely going to get $200 million. I'm going to go Carolina at home with this one, though. Uh, I think, well, you know what? I'm going to go with the Rams simply because Cam Newton is hurt and nobody wants to talk about it. I'm going to go with the Rams on this one, but I don't love the Rams. I really do not. The Bills and a good defense taking on the New York football Jets and Le'Veon Bell. Um, a home team is going to lose. A few home teams are going to lose, right? I think this is this is interesting. I don't like the Jets per se. I don't know how much better they're going to get. Adam Gase is not that great. Um, I'll go Buffalo in this one. Makes me dirty, but I'll go Buffalo. I'll switch it up a little bit. Tennessee goes to Cleveland. Is there another team in football that has more pressure on them than Cleveland to start off the season? Between Baker Mayfield and Odo Beckham Jr. signing Kareem Hunt. It's, it's mm, I don't know. It's a tough division. 
with Baltimore and Pittsburgh. It's a tough division, man. I, I don't know. I think Cleveland wins this game because Tennessee has a quarterback problem and a receiver problem and a team problem. But I don't. Cle- Cleveland's going to have a tough month. And if they can ride it, and if that sooner in Baker Mayfield, maybe, but we'll have to see. Washington at Philadelphia. I'll go Philadelphia in that. Washington has some pieces, but again, are they they're, they're, they should be strictly on tank and get ready to develop their quarterback and, and that youngster that they drafted. So we'll see from there. Kansas City going to Jacksonville. Kansas City is going to, again, they're going to have the target on them. And Andy Reid's team, say what you will, they, they haven't always gotten the job done. Everything is set for them. Can Kansas City, can Patrick Mahomes, can they take that next step? Can they take that Belichick, Brady-esque step and win a championship? Jacksonville's a bad team. It's a trap game, though, and if you're not careful, you can get got in the middle, in the first game of the season, September, in Jacksonville, Florida. Atlanta takes on Minnesota. I don't think Minnesota's all that great of a team. I think they have a nice defense. They have some weapons on offense. Tell me how much you trust Kirk Cousins, though. I mean, it, it really comes down to that. Do you trust Alvin Cook? A little bit further away from that injury is going to be something special. Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen and, and Stefan Diggs. Like, they're good. There's a good team there. But is that another team that just has a certain ceiling on it? I don't know. They can go all the way. They were one play away from going to the Super Bowl. Or at least being in real contention of going to the Super Bowl. So, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We'll, 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 we'll see how that plays off. But I will go Minnesota in this game. Uh, you know what? Again, just to be a little contrarian, I'm going to go Atlanta. Switch it up a little bit. Just strictly because this is a betting show. As you can see right here, and betting is now legal in the state of Illinois, uh, or it's going to be. You can see that I, I, this is. Uh, I, I'm. Tr- I also kind of want to make a little money here, and I think everybody's going to go Minnesota, especially here in the NFC North state of Chicago. So I'll go to Atlanta in that one. Baltimore at Miami. Who knows what Miami is doing? They can legitimately go 0 and 16. I mean, not legitimately. Anybody can go in 16, but like they're a bad team. I'll go Baltimore on this one. Again, uh, Baltimore. How good is Baltimore going to be? It's only Lamar Jackson is all they're going to come down to. How long can he stay healthy? And you got Mark Ingram there, so you're hoping that maybe that, that alleviates some of the pressure, but we'll see what happens with that passing game. And finally, we come to the first game of the NFL season that happens on Thursday night. It is the Green Bay Packers versus the Chicago Bears. This is a very interesting matchup. New coaching staff in Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers coming back, kind of having to really answer some doubters. Some interesting running back questions in Green Bay. Chicago, you're coming off with a double doink. You didn't win a game in the playoffs, and a lot of people feel like they did for some reason. People walk around like they did in this city. This has all the makings for a very fun matchup and a very fun race throughout the entire season between these two teams. There's a lot of questions between them. Is this the season Mitchell Trubisky takes the next step and helps the Bears win a playoff game? Because he was bad that first half of that game against Philadelphia. Will this coaching staff incorporate the offense when it comes to the running back in that offense better than they did last season? Tariq Cohen was inconsequential in that playoff game, and it was inexcusable due to the fact that it was because of the coaching staff. These two teams have a lot of things going for them, have a lot of questions against them, and it's a division that can be got by both of them. You have Hall of Famers on both sides between Khalil Mack and Aaron Rodgers. Some of the best players in the league are playing in this very game. It's going to be fascinating, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this matchup, this heavyweight matchup to start off the season on another episode of Sports from the Couch here on Mercado Airwaves. Make sure you guys keep an eye on for that. But for the sake of this, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the Bears with a home win and beating Matt, Matt, Laf- uh, Matt LaFleur's first game as a head coach. But we'll see. 
We'll see. It's very interesting. So now comes the other portion of this where we have to put the games and the value on them officially after we made the picks. So while I picked the Bears, this is Bears Packers, obviously, and Aaron Rodgers is maybe the best quarterback in the league. So I don't, I'm not going to put all that many points on it. I think I'm going to put five points on it. And we'll leave that right there. Uh, who am I most confident in winning a game this weekend? I think I like Baltimore going to Miami to win. I, I, I'll keep that up for a little bit. I like Seattle beating Cincinnati, so I'll move that up a little bit more. Put that out around there. I like... Oh, we still haven't picked Pittsburgh from New England. I mean, I think for sake of this game, I'm going to go with... I'll go with Pittsburgh again. I think New England, It just, just because it's early in the season, New England doesn't care, and it's an easy division, so they're just going to win as many games as they need to when it comes down to it. They're, they they had the division in bag, you know, so I don't, I don't think they're all that worried. But again, because I don't really trust this game, I'm going to only put a four on that one. Uh, New Orleans beating Houston. That's a toss-up. I think because it's in New Orleans, I'll put it up a little bit higher. But I'm not entirely sure about that. I'll put the Chargers up a little bit more. Philadelphia, I like that. I'm Cleveland and Tennessee, I think I like that more than I do Buffalo, that one. Uh, I kind of think this... Oh, there you go. So Giants-Dallas definitely needs to go up a little bit more. Again, I'm not the biggest of Dallas lovers, so I'll put an 11 on them, but watch that one come and bite me back in the ass. Uh, Denver, Oakland, that one's a little bit higher. We'll put that up here. We'll put a couple more points on Denver. More than Buffalo, that's for sure. So I think this is pretty much where we have it. At my 16 points, I have Baltimore over Miami. Uh, I put 15 points on Seattle over Cincinnati. I put 14 points on... Kansas City over Jacksonville. I will put 12 points on the Chargers over the Colts. I will put 11 points on Dallas over the Giants. I will put... Mm, I will put... 11 points, yeah, on Philadelphia over Washington. I will put 10 points on Cleveland over... Tennessee. I will put nine points on Denver over Oakland. I will put eight points on Atlanta over Minnesota. I will put seven points on Buffalo over the Jets. I will put six points on the Rams over the Panthers. Five points on the Saints over Houston at home. I will put four points on Detroit losing to Arizona. I will put three points on Chicago beating the Packers to start the season. I'll put two points on Pittsburgh over New England. And I will put one point on Tampa Bay over San Francisco just because I don't know who win that game. That game is a garbage game. So those are my picks, and let's make them official. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this very special edition of Confidence Picks on the Mercado Airwaves Network, Sports from the Couch with Mike Mercado. This was part one of the 2019 season. Stay tuned for our breakdown of Bears versus Packers to start off the 2019-2020 NFL season here on Sports from the Couch on the Mercado Airwaves Network. I'm Mike Mercado.